Hello, you guys. Jalen Martinez, aka the Suburban Grower. And you guys, I am out here watering our fig, our brown turkey fig. She is massive. Um, really quickly, I don't want this to be a long video. Look at all of these figs, man. Like, I told my wife, we are going to be learning how to do preservatives because there is absolutely no way we can eat all of these figs. I think what's even more bizarre than having all of these fruit lined up on this tree like this, um, pay attention to the color. Green, 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 faded, brown. This branch, now I'm six foot. This branch, no, I'm sorry, I'm six foot four and a half. This branch is eye level with me. All of this came this year. Let me step back for you so you can really see what I'm talking about. Follow the transition, green, 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 brown. This branch made it all the way through from last year and it is almost as tall as it. So you guys, this growth is absolutely um, phenomenal. And you know, I, I spoke prematurely talking about how quickly peach trees grow. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> looking back over the things that has stunted this tree's growth, and the fact that A is still here, which means it is hardy as can be. The only thing that has uh, limited this tree's growth was the person on sold my or two, which he cut it completely down. Um, <laughs> and then uh, these two freeze events that we've had. So um, with that being said, you guys, I think that for most of you, this would be an absolute win. You guys, um, growing fruit trees, believe it or not, at times, I hate to describe it like this, but it's almost like investing. You have to make sure that you have a diverse portfolio because you just never know um, what, what will happen. You know, this year we had a late freeze. We, we were able to get some peaches, but outside of peaches and a few apples i did get a chance to taste our anna apple um really good they weren't as big as i would have liked but hey got to taste them um next year i'll probably pull all the fruit off of them and just let them do their thing but you guys it is absolutely a blessing to be able to have a multitude of different fruit trees that way you always harvest something it don't matter it don't matter how how little or how much you're always harvesting something so you guys i'm asking all of you all who are looking for that next tree I, if y'all are anything like me y'all <laughs> um at one point in time i was out here going tree crazy <laughs> My, um i used to pull our suv up back it up to the garage man i have five six trees and bushes and all kinds of, i was always bringing something home so if you're as tree crazy as i am um i do identify as a tree hugger <laughs> um but at the end of, and i don't mean no disrespect by that i i am that but um even with saying that it, on a serious note um for those of you who are looking for your next trees i'll tell anybody if if you were ask me hey what what do you think i should grow this that and other Peach, pear, and feed. And I feel like you should have some sort of variety of citrus growing in a pot or something. And the reason why I say these is because they live for a long time outside of the peach tree. Um, peaches, nor peach trees normally live for about 10, 10 15 years. Um, but figs, 40, 40 plus. Um, pears, some pear trees have outlived people you, you know what i'm saying so i don't plan for that to be the case with me because i'm gonna be 162 one day <laughs> but honestly i gotta be serious on a serious note you guys if you're looking for something that is very sustainable do yourself a favor and get you a fig tree i mean 
what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. I'm gonna stop messing with y'all and go ahead and get in the house. Um, really quickly, I, I'm, I have not been on a weather rant and I'm not going to make this one. However, you guys make sure Make sure, make sure, make sure you have some kind of regimen for your trees. You guys, I work um, every day that I work. I don't water every single day. What I do is I water every other day while I'm at work and every single day while I'm at home. You guys here in Central Texas, we have been over 100 degrees for the last 37, I think it was. That was sometime last week. So at this point, I'm sure it's 40 or more, but we're, but we're not being, we're not playing a hundred. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. 40, give or take, 40 straight days of triple digit temperatures. Um, the crazy part is we're, we're still in July. The worst is yet to come. I've been seeing uh, back home in the Southeast. Um, it's been hot. It is. It has been abnormally hot. Um, all I can tell you all is um, what I do and it works every other day. Worst case scenario, every day, best case scenario. Um, people don't realize it, but a lack of water or a lack of um a lack of that certain schedule or i think it's we'll just call it improper watering you know because these summer months will mess you up because um it's almost the equivalent of two winters and what i mean by that is um these trees are having to buckle down and use all of their nutrients to survive the winter then they're depleting all of their nutrients um, here in the uh, in the summer months. And you guys, that's why I was telling you all beforehand, and I guess I should have taken it that far. Um, that's why I always fertilize my trees year round because um, here in this climate, like, let me let me help you out. Let me let me help you out. I'm not going to show any any of my neighbors grass or anything, but look at my grass. grass is burnt it is hot and, and i water my grass so this is the grass that's closest up to the house and you guys forgive me um obviously for four obvious reasons i'm not cutting the grass because it's so hot but um it is hot like i'm not gonna pan around but all of my neighbor's grass is burnt up and i'm, I'm not being funny but it's, it's just it's just burnt up um, like some of my neighbors haven't had to cut their grass since June 1st because the first time they cut it, it burnt up. So it is hot. So this is what we have been dealing with year in and year out. Um, and I know somebody watching this in Arizona is just like, whatever. <laughs> and I'm saying it back to you, whatever, <laughs> because it is so hot over there. Jesus hot over there. But, uh, you guys um stick with the technique that works for you as far as watering and uh, i'm fixing to go ahead and get in the house because it is about 85 of that 103 that is supposed to be today already so you guys have a wonderful day thanks for viewing um and thanks for viewing even though i don't post as much as i used to you guys i'm a full-time student i work um <laughs> i'll pretty much work right over 40 hours every week um, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm sorry. Can't apologize for being busy. Um, but I'm busy. So thank you all for sticking in there with me. I know I don't post as much as I used to. Um, but I still love you all. You all have a blessed one. Thanks for viewing and, uh, y'all have a great one.